Greetings, fellow Watford fans. Omar Moore here with a thought or two about what's going on in the Premier League and how I think fans have been royally screwed here with these cancellations of games. Now, look, granted, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic rages on and it should be taken extremely seriously. And obviously, people should get vaccinated and wear masks and all of those very important things, particularly now as this new variant, the Omicron variant, is spreading rapidly across the world. No question about it. What I have a real problem with in terms of the Premier League from that standpoint is the Premier League has been canceling these games piecemeal when what I think they should be doing is setting aside at least three weeks of schedule so that this situation with the players and all of these teams can be sorted out and restart the season in say mid January or late January. I, I just think that that makes a whole lot more sense, particularly at this time of year when you have people traveling to their families and in Europe where of course this virus is really rocketing in terms of the Omicron variant uh, cases all over the place. And I really think that the best thing for the Premier League to do is to suspend the season for at least two or three weeks we're in the middle of December now, suspend it for a month till we get to mid-January or so until we can get a handle on A, stricter rules and protocols for players, which I know the Premier League has now instituted as an emergency protocol situation. But going forward, try to get a situation where these players have to be vaccinated. And I know that's problematic for some players because they won't do it. And there is no rule in the Premier League at this moment that compels all players to be vaccinated. And, uh, you know, that's why you're seeing these cases, quite frankly, is that I think a large number of players are not getting vaccinated. And I think that that's a big problem. I think it's a real big problem. And obviously, with the rapid spread of this new variant, it creates more issues. And I think that you've got players now who are a little bit lax, who aren't getting um vaccinated and not getting boosted and as a result you're seeing these cases with this extremely contagious omicron variant it makes things very difficult for everybody the players obviously who get covid and watford have a number of players um, who are now out with covid and it just destroys everything and, and and the thing that i and i hope that everybody who comes down with this virus this disease is able to recover and and keep thriving in, amidst all of this this horrible pandemic and please wear your mask and everything else i i just hope that that the players come back and everyone comes back healthy and safe i i'm also saying that the fans are just getting screwed over royally here i mean how are the fan i mean the situation with burnley watford was a big joke i think watford have to take a big hit here um in not dealing with this the right way um, there were reports in the Watford Observer a few days ago, apparently, that Watford had known about the situation a few hours in advance of the game and planned to have a meeting uh, with the Premier League about this at least three or four hours before the game kicked off between Burnley and Watford. I mean, that's a disgrace. And they didn't tell the fans until, what, an hour before kickoff, an hour before lineup presentations, which would have been, what, yeah, about two hours before kickoff. People were already on their way to Burnley. People were on their way to Northwest England, to Lancashire, at the time that these uh, disclosures were being made. And so it was too late. There were people who were literally, you know, half hour from the ground, people who were at the ground, people who were in Burnley, had been there overnight, had uh, went up there overnight. I mean, booked hotels and all the rest of it. I mean, Watford should be giving full refunds for everything. Now, I know I've seen that they are giving some refunds back on a number of things. I think coach travel, official coach travel, as it's called, but not, not a, as I know, train travel, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that, and not hotels, as far as I know. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that, too. This is not good. This, isn't a not, this is not a good look for our club, and Watford FC is much better than that, and they've not behaved that way, and I notice there are a number of things this season that have rubbed Watford fans the wrong way about WFC. And one of them is this whole ticketing system that has been an issue with the turnstile and the app and the rest of it. There have been lots of, you don't even listen to me, go on social media and look. So many Watford fans absolutely expressing displeasure 
at the way the ticketing system does not work and how it is messed up and how it just makes things so much more difficult for fans to get into the ground. Malfunctions, things aren't right, system isn't set up. I mean, all kinds of things to what we saw over the last few days with cancellations, but not cancellations being made well enough in advance. And we all know that this information is known to Watford uh, a lot longer and a lot more and a lot earlier than it is obviously known to us as fans. And so it becomes a really problematic thing. And you've had people traveling three, four hours, wherever they're coming from. If you're coming from London or coming from Watford, that's a three hour trip north. So there's no way someone's going to leave home from two hours before the match. They're going to be leaving four hours before the match. And for you to let them know that it's canceled only an hour or two before the match, it's not good enough going to Burnley. Maybe going to Arsenal, that might have been a different story since the club is less than what, 20 miles. Watford's less than 20 miles, about 20 miles away from the Seven Sisters Road in North London. Maybe, maybe that would have been seen as somewhat understandable or maybe not because people are still traveling from all over the country to see Watford. So they're not all centered in Hertfordshire. All Watford fans do not reside in Hertfordshire. There are lots of Watford fans that reside, uh, you know, at, in Land's End, John O'Groats. They, they, they reside everywhere in England and beyond. So this is a real problem. And, and the club's got to get a little better about this. There have been a lot of dissatisfied fans and, you know, not getting proper refunds or only getting refunds for specified things. I think the club should be refunding everything. For if you can demonstrably prove that you spent money in connection with the trip to Burnley and it's properly tied to it, you've got the receipts, you've got the hotel spending, you've got the hotel locate, all that credibly from, say, Tuesday or Wednesday of this past week you should absolutely be getting a refund from the club on this. And I think, again, last time I checked, they were doing full refunds on a number of things. I don't know if hotel rooms are included in that. I do not think they are, but I would have to get the latest on that. But the fact is they had knowledge about this with the COVID outbreak in their squad for hours and hours and didn't tell Watford fans until they went up there. That is a bad move. That's not good for the club. It's not good for the fans who spend their hard-earned money, take days off of work, book hotels, take three, four hours traveling, all the rest of it, and only to find out that the game is canceled. Now, look, um, the Premier League makes the decision to cancel the games. Um, quite frankly, I'm talking about two things here. One, the Premier League season should be delayed now and brought back in the mid, the mid to late January phase I know that there's lots going on. You have to back up fixtures, but that is probably what four or five games that you will have to make up in a tight time period. And don't forget the world cup in 2022 is taking place in November. So I think there could be enough time to fit those five or six fixtures in. We've already had cancellations and you can't keep doing this to fans canceling games as they're on their way to travel. Oh, we're canceling the game as fans have already made the trip, they're already on their way. If they're home fans, it's a little different, even though you still have to travel from your destination. And that may not be right next to Vicarage Road or anywhere else. It might be a long way away. So either way, I think uh, Watford have to do better. And the Premier League has to just cancel the next three or four games, uh, the next three or four match days, and wait till we get to the middle of January or the end of January to re, you know restart the season reassess what's going on with these protocols get them in get people tested get people to take to get these vaccinations and i mean it's going to be because what's going to end up happening is that you're going to see this happen next season around this time and the season after that as long as there's covid around and there's not and people aren't doing enough to safeguard themselves and players aren't doing enough of the right thing to safeguard themselves. You're going to see this happen every season. You're going to. And what's going to also happen, I think, is you're going to have conceivably a situation very soon, perhaps, where you're going to be playing in closed stadiums again. You may have teams in the Premier League playing behind closed doors, like they did, of course, during the season prior and during, you know, during much of the season prior. Um, or, or, you know, during the 2019-20 season, 
where you know you had the doors closed and in part of the last season too so there's a very and in all of last season you are going to have a scenario if this does not you know abate every every so often where you're going to be playing a number of games behind closed doors no fans at all and that might be what the premier league ends up doing i have no idea what they may end up doing because let me tell you it's a whole lot better than having fans travel to a game get on a train drive up the highway or the motorway and then within half an hour of getting to the ground they're getting a message on their phone or getting an email or something a text or whatever that the match has been cancelled postponed that i mean you'd rather play behind closed doors and, and then put fans through that of course the fans don't get to see the game at the stadia but the problem but the better thing is why have them waste money and then tell them it's cancelled i mean i can see a scenario where the premier league plays these games behind closed doors i mean that's what i think is coming and i hope i'm wrong i really do because i really need to emphasize that football is nothing without the fans football is nothing without fans and you can't keep giving the fans a runaround like this you know we already had the super league earlier this year trying to uh derail the premier league and uh, price out fans and uh, have these breakaway clubs in the super league and the fans said hell no to that we're not having it and the same thing applies here the premier league has got to do a better job uh, with all these cancellations just cancel the season uh, suspend it rather for three or four weeks until this is calmed down and these players are rigorously tested and hopefully vaccinated and stricter policies which they are implementing are put in place and fines are given out and get this whole schedule reset so that then in about three or four weeks time restart the season restart the season because you're going to still have this you're going to have games cancelled on the spot as fans are visiting the grounds and that's just absolutely ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. So that's what I think has to happen. Premier League has to suspend the season. A lot of Watford fans have agreed with, with my sentiment here. I did a poll on this on you Warns WFC on Twitter, and most fans who responded to it um, said that they would be in favor of delaying the Premier League season uh, through till mid to end mid January or so of 2022. And I just agree with that. I mean, I, as you hear, as I'm saying to you, I think that they should do that and uh, sort all this out. Don't inconvenience the fans. Watford fans, I mean, certainly that was a kick in the teeth the other day to have fans head up all the way up to Lancashire and then find out that the game is off. And if Watford FC knew this hours and hours before, that there was an outbreak of COVID in their squad, and obviously they had to have known that past the two hours that they gave fans, then... This is really not good. It's not a good look for the club. This is a club that cares about fans, cares about families, says it does and has in the past, but this is a bad look for Watford FC and there really needs to be something done about that and there really needs to be a full refund of all expenses that can be demonstrably proven to Watford from the fans. There needs to be a full refund of all the expenses, whether it's the coach, whether it's a car, whether it's a train, whether it's hotel room, you this is not right the fans should not have to be paying for this through the pocketbook through the wallet and then only get some of what they expended on refunded to them that's just not right especially at the christmas holiday season 